slime burning. I, am, I changed my stream times to um, to 1 p.m. So, um, which, now that I think about it, it's kind of like a really crappy time because a lot of people are they're in school. Um, ah, hello, mongoose. Um, so, I might change that time later, uh, depending on how many views or people watch at this time. Because I can't really change it around the time it's, uh, when people are out of school, because that's when I gotta go to work, kind of. Um, but we'll see. Maybe, uh, three or four. Three or four would be good. Good time, I think. Maybe four is better. Rogue. Okay. Um, so, despite all of that, I want to, uh, start doing videos about, um, like the basic introductions of Mabinogi. I know there are, um, some few new players coming into the game, and, um, uh, or potential new players, so I want to be able to um, introduce this game to you guys, so you guys don't end up like rage quitting after a week. Cause um, I've seen people do that. Like they they have so many expectations for this game um, compared to other games that they've played and. It just kind of kills them to play the game. So I want to be able to share um, what makes the game good so that way you guys don't um, feel like you missed out. Um, I feel that Mabinogi has a lot of uh, potential, especially since it's a free game. Free! That's right, free! Um, and it has a lot of things that even paid games nowadays already uh, have. So it's like, why would you spend money on a game when there's a free game right here? And uh, it um, doesn't cost you a thing except for your time and your life. So um, let me start off by sharing the introductions and... Dorn's request, because that's like my favorite mission to just train things in. Uh, I guess I'll just, I'll do like intermediate, or no, I'll do advanced. Because then you can get there you go. Oh, so I guess the first introduction I can do here is about these uh, missions. When you first start playing Mabinogi, you'll probably start doing dungeons instead of shadow missions. So, um, I don't want to, like, push you, uh, too far yet. So, let's just start with the basics. And I know people are dying to know if you are new to this game or want to know more about this game, um, the first thing everyone wants to know is the skills. What can you do in Mabinogi? And um, what classes uh, do we have? So, let's get to it. Er, what the heck? That is not right. Which quest did I take? Did I take Provo? I did. Oh, I'm sorry guys. I am used to, um, I'm used to grabbing that Shadow Mission Provo for some reason. I could have sworn I got Dorns. What the hell? Okay. I'm used to doing Provo because of training. Okay, well, I got the right quest now. Um, so that's one thing. Uh, when you grab a Shadow Quest or mission, sometimes you need a certain amount of people to go in. This one doesn't have any specific requirements. Max at three though. Okay, so um, the reason why I'm going into this specific mission is because this mission has um, a bunch of um, orbs. 
I can summon monsters from, or mobs, whatever. Um, and I can show you guys each training technique. Okay, well first off, let's introduce the classes, yeah. It's not really classes, um, if I had to describe Mabinogi, it's not your typical MMO of um, skills. You can, if you want, and have the time, and the money, like really the money, um, time, money, and um, I think that's it actually, um, then you can actually learn and master every single skill in this game. Um, Mabinogi is flexible in terms of what you want to uh, learn as like let's say you wanna you wanna shoot guns fine you can shoot guns you wanna shoot alchemy crystals um, or alchemy yeah crystals I was thinking magic but magic is a whole different thing yeah you could do that too you could be a dual class triple class quadruple class it doesn't really matter you have the flexibility to choose which um, skill you want to learn so here let me show you we have the life skill tab it's all like random little tidbit stuff like tailoring um, first aid uh, that would be like if you're a medic or healer that'd be good to learn because um, first aid will uh, increase how much you can uh, aid somebody with a band-aid um, weaving, refining, blacksmithing, cooking, herbalism, th there's really a lot of things. You can go fishing, you can uh, make wine, you can craft things out of carpentry, which is like bows and stuff like that. Um, they, ha they just recently introduced magic craft and, um, and engineering, and engineering would be for making guns, and bullets would be from uh, magic craft. So, and there's other things so you can make like wands and stuff from magic craft. So these are all new things that they just recently added to uh, Mabinogi, um, for North America. That is, if you're in Korea, you're probably way ahead of us. Okay, <clears throat> sheep sharing milk. Uh, milking, egg gathering, mushroom gathering, there's a lot of things, a lot of farming things too. Um, so that's uh, one thing about life skills, it's like if you're like, if you're not really into dungeoning, fighting, killing, all that stuff, um, unfortunately you still have to do that sort of, just to level up, uh, unless you like grinding. Um, fighting this game is inevitable, you will have to do it sorry but um, there's other things you can do to to level up you actually can level up from um, making like potions and stuff like that it's a little bit tedious but you know it's, it's if you like that kind of stuff you can do that you know um, combat I know everyone's dying about this one so if you are the melee type of person I am not really much of a melee person so I don't have um, <clears throat> a lot of melee stuff, but let me just um, pull one out. So they have like two-handed, you can dual wield uh, swords, certain swords. Um, they have lances. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, I don't have a lance on me, but if I did, I can show you guys how awesome it looks on your character. It's huge, and it's... Uh, I haven't really gotten used to um, attacking with them, so so each uh, the combat skills you've got like defense, smash, counterattack, charge. So each of these skills are like certain things. Some of them are passive, like um, shield armor mastery. Um, combat is also considered on. I mean archery. Um, is actually considered under combat. So um, they have every single put I think potential class except for like thief. But um, I think you want to be like a quote unquote thief, then you can just go under merchant talent, and that one will help increase your luck, thus money drop potential. 
there's magic, of course. Uh, all three elements of fire, lightning, <clears throat> and ice. Healing is also under this, too. Um, there's, like, specific shields you can use to, like, um, protect yourself from, like, fire attacks or stuff like that. Um, there is the most popular skill everyone uses right now, but not really, um, it, it kind of got nerfed, so it kind of sucks now. But, um, mana shield, it's like, it's like a shield that's on you all the time, and when you get hit, it consumes your mana instead of your HP. So that's, um, one decent skill a lot of people are using. There's enchanting, that is, like, if you were the type to, like, get, like, pro boss gears, and, like, um, <clears throat> they're, like, high rank, you would need to be an enchanter, or you would need to find a high rank enchanter to enchant it for you. So, um, like, I'm not gonna get into those right now, but, but there's some, like, enchants on my gears, and you can see all the, like, blue on there, that's, like, enchants. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, so I thought... <coughs> So then you have alchemy, um, which is my main class. Yeah, alchemist for the win. Um, you can do uh, like water attacks. Let me show. I guess I can give you a little Let me show. Water attacks, alchemy, and you can do like. Uh, there's no. There's, there's technically no lightning. But, um, let's say, uh, you do have thunder as a mage, you can turn thunder into crystals, thunder crystals, which is used by alchemy, so, um, where's my bag? It's hiding. Oh, it's up here. Dang it. So, here I got some thun thunder crystals, and I can load it up on my, uh, cylinder, and once it's done... <clears throat> it takes a while. It's just like casting thunder as a mage, and voila, you have thunder. It's a little bit easier than uh, actual ma magic attacks. The mobs are kind of glitching right now, so if you're wondering why they're they're not coming towards me. The sometimes the server gets glitchy and then they get stuck. I swear I am not doing this. It was not a hack or anything. <clears throat> Um, fire attacks too. My famous heat buster. So yeah, um, I kind of like alchemy just because it's um, it it's got like a combination of um, magic in there too, and I don't have to consume mana. Magic will make you consume mana. Well, I do have to consume stamina and some other stuff. Well, um, I don't want to advertise too much on alchemy, but uh. There's things like, besides the uh, typical <clears throat> water fire attacks, um, they've got things like frozen blasts. I can like I can freeze an enemy if I wanted to. Uh, they got sand bursts. I can like blind an enemy and famous the one infamous uh, shock, which uh, will electrocute mobs all around me for a certain amount of time, th uh, stunning them. And they've got things like summon golem. I can summon a golem and I can control it to do whatever I want it to do. So that is one interesting thing if you are into that kind of stuff. That is alchemy right there. I think in the future they're going to revamp uh, alchemy and uh, make golems a little bit more <laughs> smarter. <clears throat> Let's go on to the next class. Okay, we've got fighter. Um, unfortunately, I cannot really explain fighter that much because I don't have any knuckles on me. Um, but fighter class would be a class using your fist and thus uh, knuckles. And uh, you would be doing attacks like punching, like there's charging strikes, somersault kick. You're basically, you're not holding like a weapon, but it does an insane amount of damage if you um, uh, focus well on it. I believe respite. Oh, I can't use this. Um, 
some of them can heal your stamina. Uh, you can one good thing about this class or this type of skill is that you can um, you can stun and daze temporarily um, your enemies. So like uh, people can um, take advantage of that. So. And then I know you, you can do like this awesome flip thingy, which you can't do. I'm sorry, I can't show examples of these. I don't have knuckles. But um, that is a uh, fighter class. It, a lot of people who like to roleplay like Dragon Ball Z stuff tend to go fighter. <laughs> but um, it's an interesting class. Music is also one of my favorites. Um, <clears throat> It's a, it's a class that I also follow, so let me just switch over to... They have different instruments in um, Mabinogi, and I think this is what actually makes Mabinogi very unique. Is that not only, like, I don't really see that many people or classes involving music, um, but um, Mabinogi goes beyond that, and it, it allows you to compose your own music. So, um... And when I mean your own music, I literally mean your own music with, uh, like, your favorite song, if you know how to, that is. Um, so, they have a lot of instruments, not just, like, guitars, um, mandolins, they've got, like, drums, lyres, um, uh, What are those things called again? Shoot. They've got flutes. Um, I have a pet here with full, full instruments. Uh, they've got cymbals. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce some of these. But they've got a lot of instruments. And if you have like a group of people who are really into music as well, um, you guys can like actually form a band or something and play together. And um, when I say play together, you all kind of hold like a certain uh, scroll and um, set the action. Uh, where is it? Jam session. Here you go. Oh, I can't. I can't do it right now because I'm not in the right party. Um, but you can do a jam se uh, jam session and then um, play together a song. It, sometimes it's it's nice seeing that you know I, I actually don't see that much people doing that but um, in the beginning when Mabut Nogi first came out uh, this was like the most popular class everybody loved to um, stand around and play music so um, if you're into that if you're into that kind of stuff this is definitely um, something you want to try out um, so you can, like I said, you can compose, you, if you have a scroll on you, which is really cheap at each NPC, you can just buy it, um, you can make a song. Um, not only that, but they recently added, um, buffs to people who want to be musicians. So, um, the famous buff right here is, uh, Battlefield Overture, it helps increase your critical, um, max attack, and it's a lot, like, this makes a huge difference. So 13%, it's a lot. Right now I'm playing a scroll, so um this is uh this is an actual song, not from the game but from somewhere else. So you can be playing like, I don't know, whatever song you like. As long as you know how to make it. That's the only uh difficult thing is that if you don't know how to make a scroll, like your song might sound funny. So I'm not gonna keep playing, but um, there's other buffs, you know, things that help increase your speed, like attack speed, um, production, um, your overall um, movement speed as well. They're all temporary though; it's not gonna be permanent. It's it's eventually the buff wears out after a while. Um, there's actually an an attack that you can use called uh, Discord, which is for um. It's like it gives you damage over time. 
and then they ha they they slow down and they're like mm -hmm. um but um that's one thing and also um another skill that they have in terms of combat for magic would be um lullaby so you can like put to sleep your enemies and they they depending on your range they sleep for quite a bit and they um, they get damaged more when they're asleep so um oh, right now i'm not using any um magic. i was using that right there so that's a that's a uh, great thing about uh Mabinogi is that if you like if you want to switch between skills combat magic alchemy whatever you can do it so um from there i guess i, I can show you one skill life dream i use that skill to regain my um hp a bit that black part means i'm wounded so, um, in order to uh, heal that, I need to first aid myself, or someone else can first aid me, and again, that is a useful class if you are a healer. But it doesn't really matter, there's no um, labels in this game, there's no technically healer, um, uh, what else is popular, healer, uh, DPS I guess. Um, and um, tank, they don't have things like that. It's it's not really called things like that. Um, you can be everything in this game. Like I just healed myself. I just use gave myself buffs. I just use alchemy and combat. It doesn't really matter. You can do everything. But um, as you start out, you start out with a very limited amount of AP in a way. Um, so you kind of want to set your focus on one thing, because um, if you kind of just like all of a sudden go alchemy and then um, magic and then gunner and all at once, you're not going to do a decent amount of um, damage. Um, it's like you want to be skilled in one area first a bit and then just kind of spread out from there. Yeah. Okay, um, next one is auto assault and calm down my eyes. My eyes are my trademark characters, uh, character. It's like if somebody were to say Bobo, they, re they remember me by my dot eyes. I never change these eyes. They're not terrifying. They're awesome. Okay, next, uh, we're going to puppetry, so let me just... I have absolutely no room in this bag. Let's see, where's all my puppetry stuff? Here we go. Um, so one thing about puppetry, um, the thing that I just put out, this thing right here, the Iron Man Colossus Mini, that is unfortunately a Gachapon item, which is a paid item. So, um, if you are new and you're not willing to spend money on the game, your puppet will not look like this. Um, that's kind of one of the perks to spending money. Let me just show you a comparison. So, without that, <clears throat> my Colossus would look like this. Um, but, uh, your, your puppet kind of, uh, looks different, um, as you rank up, so it's like, it's not, it's not gonna, this gloss is at rank 8, so that's why it looks like that. So puppetry is, uh, actually quite of a unique skill. I don't see it in many MMOs. Your character is basically controlling the puppet, having to do certain attacks, um, and it's just, uh, there, there's like too many skills, attacks, and stuff like this in this game. So I can't really um, show every single one of them. But um, the puppetry class basically is a good class to um, pull together um, mobs. So let me see if I can actually. 
Let's see if I can actually do that. Uh, sorry, I do not main or train in any um, puppetry class, so I might do a horrible job. So let's um. Use this. So I'm gonna do this control net. Right, I'm gonna put it in multiplayer. Right? No target, what the? So, as you can see, I just pulled together some enemies and finish out. So, um, like I said, I'm not really popular with uh, Puppeteer, so I'm not gonna like fight Puppeteer right now. I was just showing an example. Let's see if I can show another example. Ooh. He's attacking my puppet, how dare you? Oh, I missed. So some skills are not always good. You can miss, you can, um... Fail. Oh no, poor puppy. He was a tank for me. There you go, I healed you. Okay, so now, uh, let's, let me get rid of my puppet. Now, if I were to switch over to the Colossus one, Iron Man Colossus, it would look like this. Much different, of course. It's more, more colorful. <laughs> so, um, that's one thing about, uh, what, if you're curious, like, so, what's, um, the deal with Mabinogi? Why is it free? Like, they have to make money somehow. And they do. They make money, um, through, um, uh, microtransactions, which is, like, um, small stuff that characters can buy things that can enhance their character um, uh, <clears throat> or just make things easier for you to for you to, for you to play the game so let me just put these away Oops, wrong pet. there you go that is the puppet pup tree class it's um it's definitely really strong if you in combination with melee um and if you can pull together with crisis my crisis really sucks it's like rank six e that's why i didn't do a good job at it um you can pull together like a bunch of mobs and then everyone can just like kill all of them all at once so that's one technique a lot of people tend to use Next, uh, uh, next skill, I mean, is Gunner, and that is the new class, um, on, um, an A, Mamanogi. Um, Gunner class is, like, F, I believe, it's, um, it's like a, it's like alchemy, but magic. Well. Actually, let me freeze that. It doesn't shoot like your average bullets. Uh, it shoots uh, mana bullets or like magic bullets. And um, these bullets, I feel, <laughs> oops, they um, they remind me of lasers. <laughs> so like, see, they don't look like your average bullets. Um. They've got like lots of skills. Uh, like I said, each class has lots of skills. I don't want to go through them because I feel like if I do go through them, I should kind of just um, do an individual video for each class. Oh, that was really bad. So each class has its own skill. And. You 
each skill is meant to help you um, chain certain skills. So um, I'll get into that later. But that is the gunner skill. It is um, it's fast and it's um, it's meant to aggro quite a bit of monsters or mobs and I feel like it's more of a crowd control kind of skill thing. Um, hidden is like a um, I, I don't even know what like these skills should be considered as like I feel like they should be called the miscellaneous skills. They're not really life skills but they are combat skills but they're not really passive so um, I feel that they just lump these skills into one thing. Um, Search my skill. So, um, you've got things like Potion Lore. That is a skill that's supposed to help uh, recover your um, character um, when you use pots. Yep. I mean, potions, sorry. Pots would be like the short term. Because um, um, sometimes when you drink a potion, it only heals you for like that set amount, but with potion lore, it can actually uh, increase the chance of um, having your character heal more. And also, there's this thing in this game called potion poisoning. That is, if you consume way too many potions, you will um, get poisoned, and when you get poisoned, your stats drop, like your strength, in dex, will, luck, all that stuff, will drop, and it'll just make you, like, very crappy. Like, if you were melee, and you just dropped your stats down to zero, you're not gonna do any damage, or you're gonna do, like, very little damage compared to what you did before. Um, good thing about alchemy is that it isn't, like, follow strength and all that stuff. If I get potion poison, I'm good. <laughs> but, um... You want to avoid getting potion poison, but uh, you can always heal yourself after from that. But not in the middle of a run. There's no thing that'll like cure your poisoning in the middle of a run. So you you'd um, you'd uh, want to not spam potions too much. Okay, and then you have doppelganger. Um, that is like if I were to describe it that is like Naruto right there um, where you just kind of um, split yourself into like a bunch of little clones and then you're like Shot. um it gets stronger over time so right now I'm just gonna like show you guys a little bit of the melee skills they got like things like and then a slash on the floor and now again. And this guy. Ow. 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 Okay, I'm gonna defend. I'm gonna defend myself. Let's see what happens. I block his attack. And that's how it works. It works with a bunch of uh, chain of skills. And it's like, um, it's like playing rock, paper, scissors, basically. Uh, if you play rock and the other person plays uh, scissors, they're gonna go down. If you play, you know, paper and they played scissors, well, you're gonna go down. So it's it's like that. <clears throat> then there is shockwave. Uh, I don't use this skill that much, but I believe this skill is supposed to help uh, knock back or thing. Gotta use a wand. I don't have a wand on me. But um, if you're a, man, uh, um, a mage, um, this is a good skill to have. It'll knock back enemies that try to attack you. Um, Berserk is also a good skill, but also a bad skill in a way. Um, it lets you become kind of invincible for a certain amount of time, and you can just keep hitting without getting like flinched. So it's like, it's like if you were to play rock, paper, scissors, someone's trying to play like paper on you while you're doing rock 
this one is like, nope, even if I'm using rock, I'm gonna keep hitting you no matter what, doesn't matter. So, um, Berserker allows you to do that. The downside is it'll lower your, um, your defense and your int. So you are completely vulnerable. Like, if they attack you, even though you don't get flinched, you're gonna get hurt quite a bit. Now the last two um, would be um, transformation type of skills. Um, I don't want to make this a huge spoiler because some people might not be there yet. But um, uh, transformation basically lets you transform into another. Um, oh god! Oh, wonderful! I crashed the moment I tried to transform. Give me a moment. So yeah, you're gonna run into that actually a lot. 